Welcome to Mikasa. Settling in, settling in. Smelled a lot. On to the next. Fourth place falling I'm checking in, out. Not falling out. God, what is going on? How do you pay 2300 for for this? A king and a queen royally bound. Yeah. Both it's taken me almost two months to finally feel like my house is all put together. Are the pile of clothes I'm selling. Here's my other junk. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. This is very overwhelming. My friend's supposed to come in about three hours. It's all right. Just one thing at a time. It's gonna be okay. And once in a while, Prince Charming don't smile. In fact, you won't show up at all. Why? Wow. I also measured the heck out of everything before any furniture came into the studio because my studio is pretty tight. It's about 450 to 500 square feet and I have a lot of stuff. So I wanted to make sure that everything actually fit and magically everything does fit. I have so many boxes. This is kind of disgusting how much stuff I've accumulated even though I've thrown away so many things. So you and I should be human beings. So I'm gonna show you around the house. This is my hallway. You can barely walk through it. I have a ton of books and I tend to own a lot of shoes as you can see. First thing you'll see in my house is a big frame of RBG. Because y'all know I'm a huge fan of RBG. And then to your right is gonna be my workstation, my living room, bedroom, all of the above. So the first thing you'll see is this gorgeous vintage gold mirror that I bought off of someone on Facebook Marketplace. My mom thinks it was for free because I didn't want to tell her the real price. It was a little over a hundred bucks, but I've been eyeing something like this for the longest time. She'll probably watch this video and be like, what, you spent that much money? Anything sold on the market right now is like $300, $400. So I thought it was worth it to buy something a little bit cheaper than $300. This shelf was also from Facebook marketplace I got two of these for $20 isn't that such a steal that is clearly tilted yep, it is not straight This is my Palea plant. Some souvenirs that I bought from different places that I went to. I think the vase was from Taiwan. And the other two are from Croatia. And I have some books up there with my pothos. Pothos are hard to take care of. The soil went bad, so I started just putting in water because I didn't want to repot it every single time the soil went bad. And then here's my wall gallery. It took me so long. All the frames that I have over on my wall gallery, they are mostly thrifted or from Ikea or I got them off of Facebook Marketplace. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, yeah. I think I scored on a couple things. I thought this could be cute, but yo, check out the price. Bruh. Six fifty. Um, sir, what is your identity? Are you a lion? Are you a dog? This is cute. Wait, what? This is what thrifting and stuff looks like. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. Yeah. No friends of mine. No friends of mine around. Yeah. There's hardly anyone here. I always wanted this type of chair. Let's see if it's comfortable. Actually, really comfortable. I don't know if it's worth 160 bucks. I'm so distracted right now. I forgot why I came here. These kind of lamps are really in, but every time I look at it, 
I'm so scared this is gonna fall on my head. It just looks so unstable. The reason I came here was for these wall shelves, but they're all gone. This is a really sad section. It's very empty. Here's a rough layout of my wall frame. I shuffle things around quite a bit and I think I'm digging this layout. I looked it up on Pinterest and apparently you're supposed to have like an overall shape where all the frames fit in. So mine kind of looks like a rectangle. I put two big frames in the middle to sort of anchor the bigger wall frame and I use smaller frames to surround those big frames. Now I'm going to trace each frame on paper, cut them out and stick them on this wall so that all my drills are accurate. This is a workout. I'm dying here. Okay, let me take a break. Oh! Hey Portal, next song. Hey Portal, Portal. When I drive around, don't feel it all. Why it's getting colder when the sun come out? Might just waste away, don't know. up but they were all empty for the past two months and actually today before I leave for Korea on a red eye I finished drawing most of these. So I painted this one I got inspo from Kitagar. Ooh, I might be butchering her handle. I really like her art because it's very minimalistic. I love the colors she uses and they're all drawings of faces or bodies. This was an oil painting I got from Croatia. Someone was selling it on the streets. And this is my favorite Matisse painting. I drew this with oil pastel. Uh, this is also from the same IG handle, Kitagar. That is not my original drawing, but I did recreate it using a black marker. I bought this from Alhambra when I was in Granada. Really like the design. This was another oil pastel drawing that I did today. So I put up this sconce. I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a West Elm sconce and it looked pretty. But I don't know if I would recommend putting up a sconce. So I use this hack where you could stick one of those light bulbs into the sconce. And all you have to do is make sure that that thing stays on the wall. Like you just have to hang the sconce. You don't necessarily have to make a huge hole for the light bulb to get connected to the wire. The only thing I don't like about it is that the light itself, you have to put in batteries, but the light is so weak. Like it's not bright at all. I end up using this more like a night lamp, but I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. Here's my bed, my favorite place on earth. I got a new bed frame when I was moving out because I wanted something that wasn't white. I wanted wood. And I also wanted something that was high enough so that I could put boxes and containers in. This one from Amazon was around $145, I think. It was pretty easy to assemble. The only thing is I should have measured the height it's not that tall, so my big boxes actually didn't go in. I wanted to shove in my suitcase and everything because my studio doesn't have a lot of storage, but I couldn't fit my suitcase here. Yeah, it's really good wood. I numbered everything here so you know which sides to attach stuff. Have all these instructions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. Sweet! Oh, this belt girl's nice. Yay! <laughs> This is my desk. I did a whole work from home office tour in my other video. So do check that out if you want a more in-depth tour of my desk. So these are some of the drawings I drew through class 101. I have another wall shelf up. It was a struggle to put something up that high. My friend asked me, how are you gonna water that plant right there? This one's fake and that one's real. this wicker chair for free from Facebook Marketplace. My friends always 
this comment on my curtain holder. I think it's pretty eccentric. It is a hand and it holds your curtains. I bought this off Etsy. I thought it was a little bit, you know, unique. I kind of like it. Hello. So I want to hang up the curtains and take, take all this down. Hold up, let me just screw this thing on. Yeah, so those are like placeholders. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! No, it's gonna like so like, vin like retro, I don't know, retro. Yeah, like vintage. I like how you're so invested in my, my space. This is the Floyd shelving system. It's really cool because on the back, you can place the rack wherever you want to. So if you need more height on some of the shelving units, then you can adjust to the height that you want. It was kind of difficult to put all of this together. I don't think I could have assembled this by myself because the racks are actually pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked up on Pinterest on how to decorate your bookshelf so it looks nicer and apparently you're supposed to give it some negative space here and there. This is a jewelry box that I thrifted from Salvation Army. It makes a little sound when I open up the drawer. I just like how antique it looks. It was like five bucks. And I always used to buy just Ikea lamps, but I love the look of this mushroom lamp that I got from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is not cheap, y'all. I thought it'd be a little bit, you know, more affordable, but they're actually really expensive. I got this as a gift to myself. I think I give too many gifts to myself, but you know, it brings me joy. I have my Monstera up on the top shelf. I think putting that there made my house look a little bit taller. This is a TV that my sister threw away. This couch that I bought from Ashley Homes for $400. I saw the exact same thing at West Elm in the same year. I have a lot of pillows. I got this off of Etsy, this little pom-pom thing. I saw it everywhere on Instagram, so I caved in, even though it was a little bit pricey. The floral pillow is something that my mom brought from Korea. And this is the one area that I don't like to disclose because I have a lot of stuff. I'm not a minimalist, but this is my closet. It's really not that big. I stacked the heck out of this closet. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. I stacked everything because I don't have a lot of ground space. And so I just have to use the vertical space that's available for me. I put in my white dresser that I have from Ikea here so that it doesn't have to be out and take up so much space. There isn't much to see in my bathroom other than my cool rug that my mom thinks is very provocative. I don't care. My bidet. Bidet? Bidet? Bidet. Bidet. How do you say bidet? Because Koreans, we say bidet. My tushy is finally here. My bum's gonna be super happy. I think this brand is hilarious. Whoever is in charge of brand is doing an amazing job. Bum wash, AKA booty cleaner. I got the classic with the bamboo knob. I was thinking about getting the one where you can have both hot and cold water, but because of the way my toilet is right now, I can't connect it to the hot water pipeline. So I ended up getting the classic. It's nice that it has a one year limited warranty. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love the poppy writer. In the spirit of clean butts, I am wearing Tushy shirt, but this is not really my type of humor. I do appreciate that they went the extra mile to send me a free shirt that I can add to my pile of free t-shirts that I never wear outside, but I, wear when I go to sleep. So thank you, Tushy. Now I'm gonna install this thing. Turn off the water valve by turning clockwise. Clockwise is this thing, right? Empty toilet tank. Am I really showing you how to drain your toilet? There we go. Oh no, I hope my toilet's okay. Wait, it's not going down. What do I do? I'm nervous. Is water just gonna spill all over? I feel like I'm learning the mechanics of how a toilet works. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't know that this thing worked like this. Okay, I'm gonna put my toilet aside. Make sure to clean your toilet before you install Tushy because it is kind of gross if you don't clean it. Attach the flexible hose to the bottom of the mega adapter. Okay, this isn't as hard as I thought. I'm extremely proud that I did not break my toilet. Now I'm going to turn on the water. So I've been using this for the past two weeks and I'm not sure how I lived without this. I don't know why, but this is very vulnerable, showing you guys my toilet. But I am going to demo you how this works. So right now it's pressure off, so there is no water coming out, but if you turn it this way... Oh my gosh! Now I have to wash my wall. That's how you wash your bum. And then you can move the location of the nozzle using this. I have cute little kitties here. So I bought this off Amazon because I didn't want to go all the way to Marshalls to buy one candle for my bathroom. This pineapple evergreen smells really nice. So if you're looking for a new candle, check this one out. Here's my kitchen, also very dirty and clutter every where you go. This is my dining space. There's a lot of obstacles when I try to find stuff in my kitchen because I don't know where things are. Everything's buried, like these guys, these condiments. I was looking for ketchup for 10 minutes and I still haven't found it. I don't know where to start, but I'm just gonna start somewhere. <laughs> nice about the studio is that the kitchen and the bedroom are separated out. This is my kitchen. You'll see the dining table area. I swapped out my dining table twice. I bought this white circular table off of Facebook Marketplace. It has the one with the X, like the black X here. Don't get that one because when you crisscross your legs sitting on the chair, the black X will get in the way and it makes it super uncomfortable. So I actually sold that one and bought a new table. And then this one's really shaky. The legs are not symmetrical, so I need to fix that. I got these nice green velvet chairs from Target. It definitely adds a nice touch to the dining area. And then above it, I have more frames. This is a scene from one of the movies. I got this clock from Target. I like the bronze color. These are more frames. This one I got from Alhambra. These ones are also from Spain when I went solo tripping by myself last year. I just put in dried flowers in a thrifted frame. And then here's a little nice retro corner. So this microwave, I'm not gonna lie, kind of sucks. It has very little power. I have to double up the time if I want anything hot. And then this is a nice toaster that I got off of Amazon. I have my trusty kaku rice cooker that I had since college. It is the perfect size for one person. I got this whole shelf from Ikea and these are some of the crafty stuff that I still haven't finished. This is like my snack box. So the place came with these little hooks, which is nice because then I can put all my mugs and I have a lot of mugs. I can put all my mugs and other stuff just hanging on the wall. This is an air fryer that I got from three years. Ooh, this is embarrassing. I should clean up my air fryer. And above it, this is where my bananas go. And I've been getting a lot of fruit flies. So I bought this thing off of Amazon and it's really satisfying to see all these fruit flies being caught. This is like a $10 coffee maker from Ikea. Then I have my Nutribullets for all my morning smoothies. One of the nice things about this place is that it has a gas stove, unlike other places. Want to see something cool? This is an entire grill. Isn't that cool? But practically speaking, like I'm not gonna cook bacon here. 
I don't know, it's, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable. So I ended up just putting my olive oil container here instead. If I were to call out my top list of household items that I think are really worth the investment, it would first be the Dyson vacuum. I vacuum almost every day because I hate feeling the dust on my feet. The Tushy, obviously, if you go number two a lot. And then the rug, I really like this rug. It makes everything else look super cozy. This is the first time that I'm living alone, so I really wanted to make my studio more personal and special to the people who walk in through the door. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!